<clears throat> thank you, Mr. President. Um, and I want to thank our Senator uh, Borello for with this resolution, how important this is for our happy, um, very important day, Italian American Day. Um, I just would like to um, also thank um, Senator Griffo, also past president, and you know, Senator Borello, so everybody understands, he is the president of the Italian American Legislative Conference. You know, I'm so proud to be an Italian American. Um, just like everybody's heritage and everything like that, it's very, very important to me. But I have to mention some special, special people that are in, up in the gallery here today. Somebody very, very important to me that I said last time, last year, that is always in my kitchen cabinet for me, that is a mentor to me, is Robert Bob Fonte. I know Bob is here, he's up in the gallery, I think. I, oh, there he is up there. And there's this somebody that, you know, you could call and get advice from, and it's the right advice every time. And I really, really feel this is the background of him being an Italian-American. I know that. I know what it is. Dr. Joseph Schelsa, the president of the Italian-American Museum. That's going to be opening up in then October. I can't wait to be there for that ribbon cutting. That's right there in Manhattan, Mulberry Street. And how important is he put his life into this museum. And everybody needs to make sure that they are there for this going to be this important, important day. Anthony Constantopoli, member of the Italian American Action Committee. Anthony, met you last night. It's great seeing you. Um, I thank you so much for all you do. Again, everybody has to re remember something. 3.2 Italian Americans are in the great state of New York. Anthony Bonamo, Italian American Action Committee, also that is present here today. John Lopreste, also Italian American Committee. And I thank you, gentlemen, for again, representing 3.2 million Italian Americans. You know, growing up in an Italian household, that there's my, may he rest in peace, my father that I miss dearly, and my grandparents that came over from Ellis Island, and they were brought here, and they worked so, so hard. They worked so hard to have the American dream. And you know what, and it was everything about respect. And that's what I was brought into. Like when I would go into anybody's home, I made sure that I went and said hello to everybody and gave somebody a big hug and thanked them for allowing me to be in their home. Think about, and I'm gonna get into this a little bit more because there is my good friend, Senator Bailey. I know he gets in, you know, talks about family and how you talk about and how proud you are of everything that you speak about. And it's just like me today, speaking on behalf of my family. My grandfather called Poppy, my, my grandmother called Nanny. And you know, you sit there and, and you have your Sunday dinner. You know, that Sunday dinner, you have your gravy. Yeah, it's not brown gravy, it's red gravy. Sitting there with the Locatelli cheese that my mother said, you know how expensive that cheese is? <laughs> I would sit there with the grater, I would sit there till it went right to my, my fingernails. Watching Abbott and Costello, which a lot of us did. But it was just the most important, you know, you think about that, smelling that gravy being cooked in the morning, and that's what you had for breakfast, meatballs. It was just wonderful. There it is, getting back to my grandparents, both parents, my, my father, again, may he rest in peace, my dad from Queens, good looking man, very good looking man, and my mom, Judy Givinelli, Judy Givinelli from Island Park. My father's my grandparents, they had a home in Island Park, a summer home, and there's my father, good looking man, he became, he was a lifeguard. He sees Judy Givinelli, blonde hair, blue eye, beauty. He sees my mom, takes her, and he throws her in the, in, in the Long Beach, right into the ocean. My mother gets up, smacks him in the face, and guess what happens? My sister comes a year later. <laughs> it is the Ned Fettuccello, Frankie Avalon story, but this is a true story, and this is what it is, growing up in Island Park. It was just so amazing going to the St. Gennaro's Fest in Island Park, an Italian community. My mother graduated high school with, with Senator D'Amato, which they called Tippy. Okay, and it was just amazing. She said he was a spoiled brat, but I'm not going to get into that. But you know what, to our senator, our great senator. But you know what, I'm just so proud to be here today. You know, I could talk so many stories, and we all can, about our heritage and about how, you know, growing up with our families. And I will say this. Without our families, we have nothing. We don't. This is a big family here. 
I got to say one thing. I am so blessed with our Republican conference, how you guys are a big family, and it reminds me of a big Italian family. Yes, my friends on the other side, too. You guys are great people. You wouldn't be elected if you weren't. I'm just proud to be here. And to my dad, Richie Matera, I know you're looking down. I love you, Dad, and my grandparents. But my father would be so proud of me today that I'm a New York State Senator because when I became a business agent with the Plumbers Union, he cried like I am today. But all I could just say is I'm so proud that I'm the honoree today. And I thank you guys so much. I'm the honoree today at the Festa. But I just want to say, what's <laughs> why you're laughing? At the Festa tonight, I'm the honoree with the uh, Legislative Conference. But all I'd like to say is God bless to all American Italians, Italian Americans. God bless all of our families, and especially God bless the United States of America. Thank you.